Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we will be reviewing Big Rock's Grasshopper Wheat from the Big Rock Brewery in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. It's a 5% alcohol wheat ale. Uh, first time I had the Big Rock Grasshopper Wheat, I was at the beer market in Toronto doing training for R5, the Ultra Lounge at the Falls View Casino. just like the other Big Rock products, it has the wheel down here with ale, lager, wheat beer, all that is lit up on the wheat beer. Got my Molson 67 flute out. Wheat beers are good in a flute, so they went together well. Now the first thing I, the guy who likes wheat beers, notices is that this is filtered and see-through. Uh, already, I'm taking points away from you. You're not a wheat beer. You're not a white. You're a make-believe. Yellowish gold. Going into the amber spectrum already. So, a little darker than most wheats or whites usually are as well, but, I mean, it's not, it's, it's filtered, so why should it be the right color? You don't really get any coriander or orange peel on it, I'm not saying that it says it's in there, but it's a paradigm with with wheat beers that it's going to have coriander or it's going to have orange citrus in it. It smells more malty than anything else, truthfully. Uh, don't get an abundance of cereal grains. Mm, there's a little hint of something that could be coriander. It's kind of on the sweet, spicy side, but it blends itself well with the malt. So really you're getting a lot of malt, you're getting some hops, and you're getting some sweet spicy scent that could be coriander. You're not getting the citrus, you're not getting any any grains. Let's give her a try. And by any grains I mean something other than barley. Okay. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like a wheat beer. It doesn't really smell like a wheat beer. Its consistency is very soft, very smooth, and not as heavy or thick as a wheat beer, so it doesn't really feel like a wheat beer either. But it tastes like a wheat beer. You start with that little bit of sweetness. As it crosses your tongue, that sweetness just turns into a malted barley taste. Not the not sweet malted barley, but malted barley. And once you swallow it, you get a mixture of citrus, coriander, both of which are tiny bits, and just add that little sting of sweetness and spiciness to it, and then bitter hops. The more you drink it, the less you can taste the coriander, but the more you can taste the cinnamon. Uh, the more you drink it, the less you can taste the coriander, but the more you can taste the citrus. So, for having to give it points, all for style. It claims to be a wheat beer. Color. 
and visual appeal, it fails. The scent, again, style-wise, doesn't really fit the style fully. Texture, style-wise, it doesn't really hit, fit the style properly either. But, taste-wise, this hits the style almost right on the nose. I've drank Grasshopper many times before. I've never poured it into a glass. It's always been right out of the bottle. So I never really realized that it was filtered. I just always expected it to be unfiltered, as the name would imply. Now, let's see something here. The one thing I've always noticed about Big Rock is that their glue it's not very good. You can get their labels off pretty much perfectly every single time. I have not had to soak one Big Rock bottle ever in my life. I have thousands of their labels, not one nick or scratch or anything out of them. So I don't know what type of animal they're turning into their glue, but it's not a very good animal. Um, I mean, I enjoy drinking this. It's not my number one choice for a white. It's not my number two. It's not my number three. It's not my number four or five choice for a white. But if it's around, it's still better than, say, going after an Alexander Keith's white or... I don't know. Lots of different whites are worse off than this, but this one is not what I would choose. If I was going out looking for a white, I'd be going after a Belgium or a German. <sighs> really anything from the Bavarian area in Europe would be my first choice. Then I'd probably go down to, I don't know, maybe Rickards. Again, not my favorite white, but still a passable white. This one's still a passable white as well. I'd give it, uh, probably give it a 6 out of 10. I'd give it a C. It's, it's tasty. I just don't think style-wise it matches up that well with the other whites in the, in the category. But it's easy drinking. It doesn't taste bad. It's alright. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye.